welcome back. Today I'm gonna do a good old fashioned get it all done, clean with me, motivation type video. If you're new, my name is Lynette. I live in Sarasota, Florida. But today I really, really need to get some cleaning done. The boys are actually on spring break, um, so it could be, I don't know, a little interesting <laughs> trying to clean with all three kids at home, but maybe I can get them involved. I also need to clean a little bit outside in our lanai. The whole house is just looking really bad and I haven't cleaned properly in a while. My in-laws are actually coming this weekend and they'll be around next week so it's time to do that. And also I will probably take you guys shopping with me at Detweiler's uh, down on Clark. So I'm going to show you guys that place. It's a really big store and everything. Um, so maybe a grocery haul in here and just, I don't know, I guess I'll just kind of take you all with me as I try and get this house in a little better shape. It, it just keeps building up. So let's get right into it. chat with y'all just a little bit while we're working here. Um, we've been pretty busy, but um, we're doing okay. Nick's parents are coming down for, I think, a little over a week. They're not staying in our house, but my parents have an RV that they can stay in, uh, so that helps. Since we don't have an extra bedroom, be a little bit tight quarters for everyone involved. But um, yeah, they're coming down soon. They're bringing the cabinets for our flip house that we're working on, which is really exciting. We're making a lot of progress on that and I can't wait to kind of keep going. The next couple weeks are gonna be like major differences, which is really exciting. So if you're not already, hit the subscribe button. Um, we are working on a complete like house flip that we're gonna be selling. Uh, Nick is the realtor for the house and we have an investor friend who bought this house. So we didn't actually buy it ourselves, but we are the project managers slash designers for the project and kind of just keep everything going uh, so we're happy to be involved in this and I'm documenting the series I just I'm not gonna have the videos up until it's pretty much done so yeah that's what we're up to we are very busy uh, but yeah curious what you guys are up to I know I'd asked on Instagram if you all are up to any projects or things like that we're kind of on hold here at our house for a little bit but i um, curious what you guys have been up to if you have projects or if you're just staying home a lot, uh, that kind of thing, I'd love to hear. So I haven't filmed just a ton because let's face it, it was a little crazy. So Oakland is napping, the boys are currently upstairs watching something and I need to go out all night and blow off the screen. We have so much pollen right now and stuff is kind of like sticking to the screen. So I'm gonna see if I can use like the leaf blower and blow it off that way, at least somewhat. And then I'm still waiting on it to get back. I don't know if I'll make it to the grocery store um, right now, but I would really, really like to. So I'm using mostly e-cloths today. And if you've never heard of them, they're a kind of cloth that you can use water with. You don't need to use any chemicals, which I love. I also have some Norwex um, cleaning cloths as well, but I've used both for a long time already and I love them um, both the same, I would say. I don't know that I see much too, much difference between them. So I do have a link down below for e-cloths at least. And I'll try to see if I can update the Norwex one as well. And I'm using my Ocedar mop and bucket. I love this one. It's really easy to just, you know, get the mop out and it does a really good job. I just, I really like it and it's something that I, you know, always recommend. I might mention that um, the furniture outside here in the lanai is from article and we love it uh, they had sent it to us well over a year ago and yeah it still looks great we leave it out pretty much all the time unless there's like major you know rain downpours but I haven't had really issues because it's made for outdoors so yeah just cleaning the back here helped a lot 
and I'm also giving my plants a good cleaning. So it's good to check the leaves of your plants occasionally because they do get dusty and they do like um, baths or showers occasionally. I don't do this very often, but I do check the ones outside a lot more frequently. Uh, I'll try to kind of wipe them down a little bit. It's because, well, like I said, there's a lot of pollen right now too. So hopefully, yeah, these will do better now. I felt a lot better once I got the downstairs cleaned. I didn't really get to the upstairs, but that's okay, um, little by little. I generally don't clean my whole house in one day. That is just rarely happens for me, so it's usually just like little bits at a time. I also looked at a couple cookbooks. I didn't really decide what I need as far as lists go, but I just kind of looked a little bit at least. And then, of course, I had to have my, you know, daily coffee fix. <laughs> All right, I never made it to Detweiler's yesterday. Uh, we had to go do some other things. So it's the next morning and Oakland and I are gonna go there. It's the one that's down on Clark. Um, they have several locations here in Sarasota. Also one in Palmetto and another one in Venice. So definitely check them out. Uh, I'm gonna go get some, I probably can't get everything I need there and I actually didn't even make a list. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. But anyway, I also want to show you guys some of the Walnut Creek Foods products that they have. I have been working with them for a while and I always like to try and make you guys aware of uh, who they are and what they carry. Walnut Creek Foods is based in Holmes County, Amish country. They have several locations there. Okay, continuing. Um, I've been to the one in Berlin and Walnut Creek. They're both great to visit. Um, they make a lot of their own products. They have a lot of deli meats and cheeses. Um, they're just a really, really good product that I stand behind. And I grew up buying their stuff. And I've heard a lot of great feedback from you all saying, you know, you found stuff and, you know, maybe locally or you didn't know about it or that kind of thing. So uh, you can order quite a lot of things uh, on their website. So definitely check that out if you don't have anything, you know, near you. And I want to thank Walnut Creek Foods for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it. Uh, so we're going to get going and I'll show you guys around. So just a little bit about Detweiler's. Isn't this like the most awesome site here? I, I just have to say it kind of feels like an experience going in, but it's sort of like a Trader Joe's. We used to have those in Ohio. Um, probably the closest thing I've found to Trader Joe's as far as how it's set up and everything. Uh, Detweiler's Farm Market, it was literally a roadside market is how they started up. And we know the Detweiler's very well. We go to the church with them and everything. And they're very kind-hearted, giving people. And I, yeah, I just love what they've done. Here is a Walnut Creek Foods label. If you're not familiar with how it looks, uh, that's what you can look for in stores. Um, they have things in like bulk food stores, also like little gas stations. They have a lot of like deli meats, cheeses. And so yeah, I just grabbed a couple of their items here. got myself an acai bowl. They're so good. Uh, my friend Dorcas had made some or had brought some one time and I said today's the day. They're like big, they're full. It's getting to be past her nap time so she was not the most content shopper in the world but she's also getting to that age where She's not as content to just sit and look at stuff. If you keep moving, she's okay. It's more when you slow down, you know. <laughs> anyway, talked to my friend Gracie in there, and we saw another girl and another guy from church. So it's a lot of like church people who are involved here. Um, so it's always cool. But anyway, definitely go check out Detweiler's if you're in the area. So I'm gonna eat this when I get home because this needs to thaw a little bit anyway. It's a little hard at the moment. Okay. So here's a quick little grocery haul from Detweiler's. So the total for all of this was $102.59, but I did get a couple of uh, pricier items like the ribeye and the New York strip and stuff. 
Haven't had steak in a while. Thought Nick could maybe grill us some on the Traeger. Also got a New York strip for the boys. So, you know, that adds up a little bit more. But I have some apples, bananas, strawberries, onions, carrots, blueberries, mushrooms. Um, they have this fresh salsa there. And then I've got a couple of uh, canned good items that I needed and just kind of wanted to have on hand. So some cream of mushroom, chicken, pears, black beans, Great Northern, and ketchup. These are all Walnut Creek Foods brand. And then I grabbed a loaf of bread, some green onion, cilantro, and then some of these um, young potatoes. I'm not sure if that, I think that's what they call them. I just needed some to have them on hand. And then I grabbed this for Oakland mostly. And I love these noodles, the inmade, and they're good, like if you make those Amish style noodles. I've made them before, um, they're really good. I like this kind. And then I decided to try this. And also the eggs were, I believe, 67 cents, I think. So great price on brown eggs. Um, then I also got some boneless chicken breasts. And then I also got one of these, the strawberry orange juice. They also have regular orange juice there, um, so. And here's my acai bowl. There's like granola, pineapple, banana, strawberry, and then the acai mixture itself. So I'm really excited to eat. actually like two days after I started the video. <laughs> We're gonna grill our steaks tonight. Uh, I'm also gonna make some like smashed potatoes that I finish off on the grill. The recipe comes from Traeger, which we have a Traeger grill. Um, so I can maybe try and just link the recipe. I feel like maybe I've shared this with you guys, but I honestly can't remember for sure. Uh, but basically you cook the potatoes. You should have like a little Kind of like oblong like finger type potatoes but i don't have those so i'll just use the ones i got yesterday but you cook them till basically soft and then you want to like just smash them just a little bit like with a fork or your hand or something and then you'll top it with like bacon green onion uh cheese sour cream but then adding it to the smoker will give it like a good like smoky flavor at the end yet so it's really easy actually would be great to do like ahead of time i feel like you could do that um, be great for crowds things like that so they're really good i'm gonna make that as a side don't know if i'll get around to doing a vegetable or not i might just do like there's some mushrooms that i got so we might do that for like the topping for the steak so i will say we're not experts on grilling steak yet i feel like we have a long way to go with that so i'm not sure how that'll go this one is going down to it feels like one nap a day i don't know <laughs> she's eating an apple right now so we'll see how this goes Seems like usually when I cook dinner, she's gets a little bit more grumpy, right? So I keep feeding her. She loves to just, you know, snack on stuff. Mmm. So like I mentioned, I will try to link the recipe down below for these potatoes, but I'll just explain it a little bit. You are gonna boil potatoes, preferably like small ones that are like able to be smushed a little bit. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway, so boil those until they're basically soft, like you don't want them too soft that they're falling apart. Um, but then I fried some bacon and I just let those cook. And next I chopped up some green onion to put on top, as well as I chopped up the mushrooms for my mushroom and onion for the steak. So that's not part of the potatoes, but you're gonna um, chop up the onion and then also your bacon can be crumbled and you can leave that until the end. I kind of switched things up a little bit. I kind of forgot and then I checked the recipe again. I was like, oops, kind of uh, did some steps a little backwards here, but I just went ahead and drained the water from the potatoes and then sprayed the pan. You could also line it with parchment paper. That might, you know, keep the pan from getting too dirty, but basically you just go and like smash them just a little tiny bit and that probably allows more flavor in them. Uh, don't ask me who came up with this, this idea, but I love it nonetheless. Um, so I smashed them and then what you're supposed to do is actually toss them in oil 
with some garlic powder, garlic salt, uh, paprika, and I think I put some salt in there. You're supposed to toss that all together before you smash them. I uh, miss that step. So do that ahead of time if you're gonna um, put the that stuff on. That'd be my recommendation. And then I just kind of, you know, made it work even though I missed that first step. So then you would generally put that in your grill or like the smoker. So I just seasoned the steak with salt and pepper. I'm gonna use my leftover bacon grease to fry the mushrooms and the onions together to put on top of the steak. And then continuing on with the instructions for the potatoes, um, you're gonna leave them on in the, the grill or the smoker for, I don't know, 20 minutes or however long it takes to heat up. I had it up pretty much all the way uh, for both the steak and the potatoes. So we're still trying to figure out the steak. Um, but then towards the end, maybe the last, I don't know, couple minutes, nine to ten minutes you can put on shredded cheese uh, I used what I had on hand but I think cheddar would be probably the best and then you put your green onions and your bacon if you haven't already put it on there and you're good to go and here's the potatoes they look so good Now let's hope they're good. At least these look decent. And these look pretty edible. I'm not usually a mushroom fan, but I fried these in the bacon grease and they really do look very good. You're also gonna serve your potatoes with some sour cream. Um, they're really, really good. The steak were decent. Uh, mine was a little bit extra pink, but Nick likes his a little bit more like medium. So I got the boys to wipe some dishes for me because I had run the dishwasher earlier and I was like, I'm not gonna run it again tonight. So I got them involved, which is good for them. So I thought I'd end with a Bible verse. I like to do this when I can. Um, this one is from John 8 verse 12. Then Jesus again spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. I love that. Alright guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it was spread out between a couple days, but uh, I hope it gave you some motivation or inspiration in some way. If you aren't already, hit the subscribe button and I will be seeing you all in my next one. Bye guys.